Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and I am using a defective tripod. <laughs> uh, it got broke today at class. Again, this is the second one that got broke up at class, isn't it? Yeah, I take this thing out in the woods and just treat it like a piece of crap, and and and, and it's not quite. You know, I mean, it's durable out there and everything. Then uh, I go to the dojo with it. And the first one I broke, I threw one of my students into it and broke it. And this one, uh, from what my student said today, I actually kicked it. But uh, I was rolling around with a ball. I think the ball just hit it. Anyway, it broke. So um, Michelle, my wonderful and lovely wife from Way Too Sun, go check that out, W-A-Y-T-O-S-O-N. Uh, she ordered me a new one while we were there. Anyway, it's supposed to be here Monday. It's supposed to be here Monday. So I'm going to get a new tripod. Apparently, it's the same kind, so it'll, you know, it'll be good. Uh, anyway, it, and it, it's like a Walmart, like inexpensive Walmart brand. I don't know. I was thinking I had to order it because I remember I was trying to go to Walmart and find it, and we couldn't find one at Walmart. No, I bought this one at Walmart. At Walmart? I remember okay. doing that. Yeah. yeah, I bought the cheapest one there because I didn't want to well, spend a lot of money. Anymore at Walmart, not ours anymore. Anyway. anyway it goes out in the woods with me all the time. I mean, I've, I've abused this poor thing. It's time for a new one. You're so anyway, uh, I normally don't do hauls uh, on my channel because it's just not what my channel's about. Unless, of course, it's about what my channel's about. And my channel's about my my outdoors adventures, my she's in, my outdoor survival, my way of nature, that sort of thing. And also... Uh, Zen Shin, uh, my way of the entire body, my martial arts. So, uh, I, th I think that, well, okay, and, and some of my, my pagany stuff. Uh, we are getting, we are getting a place, and by the time you watch this, we should already be in it. I've been in it for a while. And should have been in it for a while, because my videos are about a month behind real life. And, uh, I'm kind of excited about getting my witchy stuff going again you know anyway at least getting a room to have it out and available my apothecary and all my little stuff anyway I have two months worth of stuff sitting here that I decided I'm going to show you and talk about uh, now considering this has all this has been purchased in the last two months not just this month but also last month and like I said I just don't do videos haul videos very often we're gonna start with Hobby Lobby I was there today and I I purchased two items and I will discuss what they're gonna be used for so firstly I got this this bag of uh, real leather crafts uh, uh, lace straps and this was eight bucks seven dollars ninety nine cents is eight dollars I don't know if it's by weight. Usually this stuff is by weight. Anyway, it's just a bunch of leather strap. And uh, I've been promising my son Jaden for a few months now that I was going to make him a, um, a satchel out of some suede leather that I have. And uh, I have not done that yet. And I want to start working on that. So this leather here is going to weave into it and, and help hold that together. Also... This rotary hole punch, which I spent $12.99, $13 on it, so that I can punch holes in my leather. I have one of these somewhere in the storage unit, unbeknownst to where it's, it. I have no clue. You haven't been able to find it, though. I haven't been able to find it for months. Even, and looked and looked even when the stuff was out here in the garage area, I well, went looking for it. And you pulled out like, and, everything going through. And everything. I could not find yeah. it. So anyway, uh, I wanted it bad enough. To, I just went ahead and purchased another one. And again, this is going to be for punching holes in the leather so that I can strap them up with the, the straps. And that is pretty much the last two months what I've purchased at Hobby Lobby, right? I think so. I think so. Yes. So now let's move on to Walmart. All right. Uh... This first thing is a two-in-one nail set by Hart. I found it on sale. It was uh, 
246 so it's like two dollars and fifty cents basically hole punch so it's two sizes of a hole punch one thirty second and three thirty seconds hole punch I, I'm like hey I've been wanting one of those and as a matter of fact I was considering using this uh, on the leather until I decided I would just break down and spend another 13 bucks and get what I really wanted because you know what I want what I really really want I'll tell you what you want what you really, really you can't want. sing it Forgot. but Sorry. that's all right <laughs> so bad. no anyway anyway hole punch many many awesome uh, uses for the hole punch uh, did you already remember all right I do have plans to purchase myself a bicycle and not just a bicycle but a bicycle and then I am going to build a frame on the back end uh, for a uh, like a, a cart slash sleeping area storage spot you know that sort of thing so that I can go out using my bike for two or three days on on an adventure now one thing I really wanted was something that would measure the distance my speed and, and all that fun stuff this right here does this it says it's a wireless cycle computer by Blackburn 14 functions and this was about 15 bucks so I went ahead and I really really want this I don't have the bike yet but it's gonna happen it's gonna even if I have to buy a it's gonna be buying stuff for even cars if, we don't have even if it's if I if I buy a junkie used bike it doesn't matter this is gonna go on it and uh, I'm also gonna figure out how to adjust uh, a way to put a camera on it as well so anyway we got that then uh, the steelhead rivet uh, gun nine and a half inches by hyper tough right here I purchased this well for several reasons but mainly is uh, my oven thing I love my cardboard ovens and I've been making cardboard ovens and foam board ovens and and all this stuff for a while so I've decided that I want to move into maybe some thin metal sheets and make some ovens that way and I wanted to have this rivet set here so that I can put the pieces together and make it sturdy so boom got a rivet gun uh, I did go to uh, where did I go the farm place rural king. king I went to rural king looking for one and uh, the only one they had was like three hundred dollars I'm like go oh, good lord yeah, you're like, uh, not and uh, I mean, this was what 12 or 13 bucks it was like 13 no 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 I take that back this was like eight bucks was it yes this was only like eight bucks I don't remember then. yeah so anyway this was only around eight dollars and uh, let's see here again got to look back down in here do, 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 do. yeah 40 rivets in here and I knew I was going to either want or need more rivets than that. So today, I purchased this box of 250 assorted rivets. And uh, it's somewhere around five or six bucks. So that's what this costs. So there we go. It goes with the rivet gun. Uh, so back to Jaden's satchel. And it's not just because of Jaden's satchel, but that gave me the... Umption. the the reasoning umption. the umption <laughs> to buy this next item which is a hyper tough again must be a Walmart brand mm -hmm. uh, eyelet pro plier set so this is I'm gonna put this in the leather to make little eyelets so that I can string in it's gonna look pretty cool anyway I bought this one last month now again today we were at Walmart uh, and I said, you know what? There's a hundred, uh, there's a hundred eyelets in there, and I don't know if that's going to be enough for the bag itself. Plus, having stuff for maybe a few things I want to work on, I know it won't be enough. So I said, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to try to find the eyelets and just buy me a bag of eyelets, right? Well, first of all, they don't have just these eyelets in the tool section. I did find some eyelets in the craft area. They weren't quite this size, but they would have worked. 
but just the bag of eyelets was like six or seven dollars. How many eyelets were in it though? Uh, uh, I, it was like a hundred or oh. fifty or a hundred somewhere around. It wasn't really. So anyway, I went back to the uh, tool area and for six bucks, I just bought me a whole new, you know, a hundred eyelets and and the gun again. Uh, it was. It was just cheaper to do it this way than to just try to buy the freaking eyelets. So anyway, got that. Uh, that looks like that's it for the Walmart haul. So now we're down to Dollar Tree. So, and uh, this is for you, hun. Dollar, dollar, holla! <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm a moron. You're so anyway. I'm a goober. You're a goober. All right. So anyway, Dollar Tree. Uh, last month, I I got this recorder flute. This flute. All right. Now, I have no idea how to play the flute. Uh, I don't even desire to know how to play the flute. I don't have any desire to learn to play the flute. But I am interested in making a flute out of some wood that I've got. I uh, went out in the woods, found me a, a, a good sized uh, uh, piece of limb, cut it down, cut it to size, and I'm working on making a flute. The reason I purchased this from the Dollar Tree was, well, it's only a dollar, mm -hmm. and this is going to be my uh, guide. Yeah. Template. Template. That's the word I was thinking. I was trying to think of it too. That's why I was this thinking. is this is going to be my template. So I just laid the wood down and used this as the dimensions, and I cut it that long. And I'm just going to sit there, and I'll make sure that I put the holes equally on the piece of wood that's right here. So I'll eventually open this up and goof off with it. But I really am just using this as a template for the wooden one that I want to make. And I, I don't I don't know why I want to do it. I, I, I don't I don't have any cool. I don't have any desire to play the damn thing I, I, and I don't know how you need to sit out on our patio and I'll just sit out there and chew it there you go so again last okay, month they had the six piece citronella incense sticks and oh I love the smell yeah, of that I'm telling you guys those things freaking work they, so I got I two used these so many times. I got two packs of those because you never know uh, also, last month, uh, I was thinking of a, a, a fun little game that I could play at the dojo uh, for for uh, uh, Aikido class. And I'm also really trying to work on getting a kids, like a young kids class going. And this kind of seemed to be fun too. This is, uh, this is uh, I think it's a D20. <laughs> I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that. Decahedron. It's, it's, it's a D20. Decahedron. Let me see it. Anyway, I'm going to show this to her. I'm just going, because they're supposed to be blank, so I'm just going to write in certain little techniques or certain moves or whatever. You know, they'll yeah. roll it on the mat. It's weird, because I just had to dream about that. Yeah, it's a D20. <laughs> uh, they'll roll it on the mat, whatever it comes up, that's what they got to do. So, you know, goof around with that. Now, I purchased this Modern Camper's Guide to the Great Outdoors Camp Sunset. This is actually a really cool book, and it was a dollar. You know, it talks about all kinds of fun stuff in here. It's got a lot of recipes. Uh, you Some know, of those recipes I actually want to try. Not and, maybe at a campfire, but and, you know, just all sorts of fun stuff. I mean, for oh yeah, and there's a there's a sky map in here for scar scar. For stargazers, there's a, there's a, let me open that up. Scargazing. A scargazing. I'll open this up here real quick. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Which side opens up? I think you have to tear it out. Chazba. Yeah, <laughs> see? Anyway. Well, then you kind of get a peek. You kind of, look at there. Ooh, don't, that's enough. <gasps> Teaser. So, anyway, uh, it's a really cool book. It originally was $24.95. Wow. Yeah, and, and I got it at the Dollar Tree, so I grabbed it, and uh, then I seen another one there, like, a few days later we were there, and so I grabbed number two. 
So I've got two of them. And I, I do seriously hope to be doing a giveaway soon. So I'm thinking, you know, I was thinking that would be a good giveaway, piece of a giveaway. And uh, one more item from last month. I, I purchased a four pack of these mini glass containers. And these are actually just for my apothecary. Uh, they're going to sit on a shelf and they're going to have herbs and, I don't know, teeth or bone shards and bugs. I don't know. Whatever I decide to put in them. Toad's blood. Toad's blood. Toad's blood. Could be uh, a salamander skin. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. So, anyway, I purchased these. It's, I'm... Honestly, I think the most exciting part of being in a place again is so that I can have my room with my witchy stuff. Honestly, I just want to have my witchy stuff out. So there's that. Now, oh, these. So going back a bit to the uh, rivet maker and, and that sort of thing, uh, talking about my cardboard ovens, I've decided I want to make cardboard, my cardboard, I want to make an oven out of some metal. So I got six of these Dollar Tree uh, cookie pans and I'm going to, I don't know, I haven't decided whether I'm going to bend these down or just cut them out and get the flat area. Probably easier just to cut them out. So I might do that. But these are going to make an oven. You get a really good a pair tin, of tin snip. Snips, yeah, because yeah, I was thinking a Dremel, no, a Dremel cutter. Tin, tin snips. Metal All right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make an oven out of this. That's, that's, the plan, anyway. that's the plan anyways. So there's that. Now, this is from today. As a matter of fact, actually, I, I purchased two of these four packs last month. I remember that. And the reason it confused me is because today I purchased more. There we go. Now, uh... I did get myself some long nosed pliers. I use this with my cardboard oven to get my uh, tin with my charcoal in and out of the oven. And I also grab my uh, cooking pan with it so I can pull my cooking pan in and out. I still have that over there, but I have access to a coyote skull now the skull is destroyed, it was hit by a car, and the head is absolutely destroyed. But there's still some good teeth in it. I don't want to use my cooking needle nose pliers to pull the teeth out of the coyote. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use these new ones in my oven, I'm going to put them with my oven, I'm going to take my old ones, I'm going to go to that skull, and I'm going to use the pliers to remove those teeth from that coyote so that I don't know, they might go in there. Anyway, long story for such a small, easy item. Uh, then, I've got this medium and large retractable leash accessory bag. Now, I've seen this at the Dollar Tree for a couple months now. And I wanted to buy one, but I just, I'm like, you know what? I would like to have it, but why the hell would I really do that what would I use it for I still am not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna use it for but uh, as you can see it's designed to go around the the leash this retractable leash thing that looks like that but of course that's not what I'm gonna use it for because I don't have one of those <laughs> but it is kinda of cool Michelle was talking about this on her channel and it's it's pretty cool it's got a couple zip bags and this one actually has the hole here for cordage, you know, for the, like the zip thing or the, the leash, uh, which I could stick cordage in there and then I could pull that cordage out and keep it all nice and everything in there. Uh, so I don't think this one has any, yeah, this is just whatever storage you want to, want to have. She said there was also one for what, a flashlight or something? Flashlight holders. Flashlight holders right here. Uh, I also think that a uh, flashlight could fit here. That would be kind of cool. But also a ferro rod or something like that could fit there. And uh, is this a glow-in-the-dark thing? It's supposed to be a reflector. This is supposed to be a reflector, so on either side. 
I don't know. There's there's plenty of really cool uses that I could have for this. You could belt, like when you're on your bike, you could velcro that to that bar across the bike. And yes, it's gonna it's definitely gonna happen on my bike travels. I don't know. It's kind of small, but something will fit in here. You keep I keep something something. Matches in there, a lighter. That's true. Now. There was a little bit of controversy about this today. <laughs> Michelle was having a conniption. She did not have a conniption. I, I think she's there was conniptions. Offended. She was mortally offended. <laughs> so anyway, we were at the Dollar Tree in the crafty aisle. I saw this and I just wanted to make sure she's she seen got it. All excited for so me. I showed it to her. Come to find out, I have a very short memory. Because she's been hauling this stuff for months. And I sit here and watch every one of her videos while she's doing them. So, it's not like I wasn't here. That's hilarious. Chalkboard paint. Black it, chalk paint. Craftwise black chalkboard paint. This stuff is the best. It's uh, two fluid ounces. I got two of them. It so, is, anyway. It is the best. She likes it. And I got me a couple. So, there. <laughs> I also got myself uh, six five-hour emergency candles. I don't have any real plans to use these as candles per se. I wanted the wax. Uh, I wanted beeswax, but it's too expensive for me to purchase. And I just don't have access to bees, so it's not like I can go get any. Uh, uh, yeah, because you did, did you know that bees are made of wax? Really? Beeswax. Wow. Yeah. If you get a bunch of bees and grind up, it, it not wax. Melt in the hot, hot sun? They do melt. Out. That's why they're disappearing. Uh. <laughs> you guys cannot see the ginormous roll of my uh. eyes. At this point. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to melt these candles. And I have some... I have some wood rounds from an elm, elm tree. You think? It's an elm tree. And... Uh, I made these wood rounds, and that's another video all of its own, but I have, uh, I don't know, I have three sets of 13 over there that's sitting and drying, and I'm going to make some uh, uh, ruin discs with them, so when I get them dried, I get the, uh, the symbols on them, I wood burn them, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll soak them in melted wax, and uh, then I'll stick them in my cardboard oven. I'll heat them up for a little bit and then rub off the excess wax, wax and that will protect them and keep them from getting all nasty and ooky gooky. Why don't you just use that, what do they call it, Amish oil on it? Because I don't have any. So why don't we just get some? Because this is cool. Okay. Well, you want to get some, uh, something else? What's what? All right. We'll discuss that. Anyway, right now, that's the plan. I'm going to just use these as a coating on that wood so that they don't get all nasty. There's that. Now, did I get movies last month? A couple, maybe? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you did. I may have gotten a couple movies that I've already watched, and not I'm not going over there and trying to find them. Uh, I, I have decided, though, that I am not going to be purchasing a bunch of of just random Dollar Tree movies because I watch and I watch them and and almost all of them not all of them but almost all of them suck really bad and and I feel really horrible that I you even spent like a dollar. Dollars of movies laying there that yeah yeah you'll never just, look at again. And I am not the type of person who are gonna is gonna go to the Dollar Tree and buy all of the movies and then sell them for like eBay. 12 times what you what you paid for them on eBay, on, on eBay or at these other sites. I'm not going to do that. That's to me that's just disgusting. No, it's just Now, there's nothing wrong with it if that's, you know, if you do it and you make money on it, it's just I don't just I would I just don't feel right doing that. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I found a movie today called Hammer of the Gods. It's a Blu-ray digital copy Hammer of the Gods. Now, uh, is this going to be a, a, a low-budget, stupid movie that someone just picked up a camera like me, just picked up a camera, went out in the woods, and decided to make a movie? It's very possible if you're going to get something from the Dollar Tree. That's a very possibility. So if you buy movies from the Dollar Tree. Unless it's a recognizable title. And right? Yes, unless it's something with a big name. And even sometimes the big name ones really suck, too. Well, I'm, I said recognizable title. As yes, you, you yes. That movie was... Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it's possible, but... 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I was saying again. Yeah, don't don't want to do that. It's yeah. So hard. Now, I have a several digital copies papers sitting down there. I you uh, was it Voodoo? Is that what it's called? V U D U whatever. Yeah. I I put my movies on that, but I can't get access to it now. The like the password, which I know has to be the password because I got it written down over there. It won't let me get to my movies. So I don't have access. So I might be giving away some digital copies here soon too. I don't know. There you go. Got that. I don't want to put that up because I'm going to... Uh, I got a couple candles today. Uh, when I have my witchy stuff out, I, I like getting these candles because, I don't know, they're just kind of freaking cool. Uh, this one here is uh, Guardian Angel. I'm I'm not Christian-y. I'm not Catholic. I'm, you know... Uh, I don't even know if I consider myself really pagan, but that's as close as I'm going to get to, like, an actual belief system. Yeah, I I don't want to I I wouldn't label myself as anything, but if you're going to, I guess you're going to say pagan. Anyway, this is just really cool candle, and I and I kind of like the you know I like the angel idea, you know, not necessarily Christiany thing, but I like the angel idea. Got it there. Now, again, not Catholic, and I'm definitely not Mexican, but I got this here. This is uh, and I don't read Mexican either. Spanish. You don't read Spanish. Yeah, well, it's the same thing, right? No. Mexicans speak Spanish, right? It's called Spanish. Okay, I don't speak Spanish. Thank you. But I do know what Guadalupe means, or says. So that's Guadalupe there on the back there. So anyway, I like the shape of this yeah, glass. Yeah, I like the shape of that glass. It's really cool. So anyway, and I like the candle. Like and, and, and I'm really into goddess things. You know, I, I think that you know, if divine did exist, you know, I think it would be a she. So we'll go with that. Anyway, I. I this a, actually kind of has to smell. I didn't think it did, but my smell is. Your working. smell is not working. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't smell like a, but it does have a smell. Anyway, there we go. Got That's that. Funny. We're saying my smeller doesn't work. Last two things, and then we're done. Again, I'm really into the mythological creatures and all that fun stuff. I just think they're awesome. And one of my most favorite creatures of all is Me. gnomes. I love gnomes. They're really cool. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree. One with the green shirt, one with the blue shirt. I would like to find one with the yellow shirt and with the red shirt so that I can have all four corners. That would be kind of cool. But uh, I, I just like... I don't know what it is about gnomes. Could have painted them. You know what? I could do that, and then you could paint them yellow, one yellow and one red for me, right? We may have to go get two more so she can do that for me, because she's awesome. Anyway, uh, I like gnomes. Gnomes are just freaking cool. Uh, I tend to like the gnomes that uh, you can't see their faces. Either their hats are way down and you just see their nose and then big beard. I really like those gnomes. Those are kind of fun gnomes. But, you know, these gnomes are cool too. Anyway, there we go. My two gnomes. That's it. That's basically what I've purchased uh, in the last couple months for playthings. Uh, let's make sure. Let's look around. For playthings. That's it. Thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard. <laughs>